The Varroa destructor mite has devastated honeybee colonies wherever it is spread around the world and is a major threat to beekeeping in Australia. While Australia is currently free from Varroa, it is likely to enter and become established at some stage in the future. Understanding Varroa's life cycle and knowing what to look for will help us to detect it as soon as possible. Help from both hobby and commercial beekeepers is critical to the success of any surveillance activities for Varroa. Female Varroa mites can enter colonies by people moving equipment between hives, by adult bees carrying the mites between colonies, and by infected bees robbing from healthy colonies. At worst, if action is not taken, there can be hundreds of Varroa entering a hive in a day. Once in a hive, the female mite crawls from the adult bee, submerging herself in the larval food at the bottom of the cell. Once the cell is capped, the female mite starts feeding on the developing larvae. The female mite will lay two to five eggs. The first egg laid is male, and that is followed by female eggs. Once hatched, mites go through two juvenile stages before taking on adult form. Males take up to six days to develop, while females take eight days. Mating between mites takes place within the brood cell. Mature female mites leave the brood cell when the adult bee emerges. The female mites feed on the adult bee's haemolymph while being moved around the hive. After two weeks, the female mites will leave the adult bee and begin laying eggs in a new cell. A mature female Varroa mite can only survive five days without an adult honey bee. It takes time for the number of Varroa mites to increase in a bee colony. The rate of population growth depends on the number of female mites, their ability to reproduce and the availability of brood. Even if a colony is only invaded by a few mites each day, they can have a huge effect because of their exponential growth rate. Mite populations will grow faster when brood, especially drone brood, is present all year round. Australia has a healthy bee population and we want to keep it that way. If you see anything unusual on your bees, call the Exotic Plant Pest Hotline on 1800 084 881. For more information about bee biosecurity, go to the Be Aware website at www.beaware.org.au.